Hey friends, welcome back. Thank you so much for watching. Excuse my little cold I got going on here, but I am popping Mucinex like it is my job because I do not want to get sick and I'm like drinking emergency. I'm drinking green tea. Like homegirls got to get through this little cold because I just, I can't, I can't stand it. Drives me crazy. Um, anywho, today we are talking about some makeup revolution products. You guys, Makeup Revolution is a giant brand. Like, they have things at Ulta. They have things just on their London website. They have things on their USA website. It's a just enormous brand with so many things. So it took me a while to try a ton of stuff and really figure out, like, what are my top 10 products that I recommend completely. And I want to give one honorable mention I know, I know. But the reason I didn't have it in the top 10 is because I don't have any like current shades of this and it is the blush palettes. I have the one in Sugar and Spice and I am obsessed with it, but I don't know if they sell that anymore at Ulta or if it's just on the London website. Like I don't really know what's going on with that particular shade, but I just want to say their blush palettes, you know, are so, so good. And I didn't want to mention them, like I said, because I don't have any current shades, but the one that I have that I might be discontinued, I don't know, is amazing. But I have other 10 products here that are bomb and I am obsessed with them. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are gonna go ahead and start off with foundation. So recently they have released the new Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. You guys, oh my goodness. It comes in a ton of different shades. It has a big old doe foot on it that you can just kind of draw on your face. I have never had a foundation that gives such full coverage, but feels so light on the skin. It is unreal. Well, okay, I shouldn't say never, but typically what happens with foundations like that is that they are kind of like those dropper foundations. You know what I mean? That are like super liquidy and watery. And those kind of with my oily skin will just slip and slide around like crazy throughout the day. This is kind of like, it's a thinner cream. I wouldn't say it's like a thicker kind of traditional foundation. It's definitely more liquidy, but it's not as liquidy as one of those like dropper foundations. It's definitely got some more thickness to it than that. So for that type of um, foundation, it normally doesn't feel that light on the skin, right? Just because that's not the consistency. Whatever they put in here is magic because this one does. It feels so light on the skin, but it gives the most flawless coverage. I am obsessed with this foundation. I do have the shade F6. Um, it has neutral undertones and it's for light to medium skin, and I think it works beautiful for my skin tone um, just because I am pretty neutral. I don't feel too cool or too warm, so I really enjoy this shade. And the coverage is just amazing and the feel of it on the skin is so nice. Like my skin just feels smooth and soft and wonderful. So totally love this and the hype is just worth it. And it's just good. It doesn't break up weird throughout the day. It doesn't slip and slide all over my face. It doesn't make me look more oily. It doesn't make me look cake face and matte. Like it just looks beautiful and like skin and I'm obsessed. Now what came before that was the Conceal and Define Concealer. Of course, this is in this video. If you're new here to my channel, I'm obsessed with this. Welcome. If you're not new, you're like, well, duh, of course it's in this video. This is the best concealer. This is actually my second one. And I have a shade that's way too light. It's C1. I went through a phase of like buying way too light foundations and concealers and, you know, we're, we're, working, it, we're working through that stage of my life. But this is so full coverage and not drying. I didn't know that Tarte Shape Tape was dry to me until I tried this. And then when I tried this, I was like, oh, Tarte Shape Tape is dry. Like I had no idea until this came along. And this is like that beautiful full coverage look, but it just does not feel dry and it doesn't make you look creepy and weird under the eyes. And it's just heavenly. And so I love this, totally recommend buying it. It's great. Now a new concealer that they have though, that I wanna chat about is actually what I'm wearing today. And it is this Fast Base Concealer Lightweight Buildable Coverage. I've been trying this out now for days. And the reason it got into this video is because 
it does oh well, computer you are not going to sleep no thank you um but the reason it came into got into this video is because it offers i would say not as much coverage as this this one is like a step down so if you feel like this was too much coverage for you this might be your this might be your bff it offers a little bit less coverage but it still has that skin like feel to it it doesn't feel crepey and thick under the eyes it a little bit goes a long way with this and it's not streaky even though it is a little bit less coverage it's not streaky it still offers really nice even finish and of course it creases all concealers do under my eyes because I got lines like whatever but it just looks like skin and it looks just perfected and nice under here without looking too dry and creepy and so I just love this this is more of like my everyday concealer you know like I don't always want this amount of coverage on an everyday basis but this is like that perfect everyday concealer you know what I mean where it just offers coverage but not too much not too little and it just looks like skin and it just looks good so I totally recommend this I love it oh and in this one I I think I have like the C3. I think this is like the third lightest shade, which is probably what I'll repurchase in this one when I do repurchase it. Some more face things that I have to talk about. I actually don't have any lip products in here. This is all face and eye stuff. So keep it on the face train. I want to talk about a bronzer. I have loved this bronzer for so long. This is the second one I have purchased because my first one, the lid broke and it was just everywhere. But this is the Vivid Baked Bronzer and Ready to Go. I am wearing this today and it gives a very warm bronze it's a really red toned bronzer but the reason that i love it is because it looks so natural because when i tan personally when i get a tan i get a little red undertone to it so this looks really natural for my skin tone and it has a nice like kind of like satin finish there's no shimmer in here there's no like chunks of shimmer and there's also not like just a flat matte finish. It's a really good skin like finish to where it just looks like I was out in the sun and I got a little bit of a tan. It It's beautiful. And I love this formula. It doesn't go on streaky. It's baked, but it's not a dry formula. And it's, it's just beautiful. It doesn't look like patchy and weird on my skin. And like I said, it just looks like my natural tan does so that's why I am obsessed with this now I have three different highlighters that I want to talk about and this first one is a palette so this is the incandescent highlight palette and I've talked about this a little bit on my channel you get four different shades this is like $15 and these highlights are intense so just throwing that out there if you want an intense highlight meet your dream team they also have um i think it's called ignite it's like a it's a deeper shade so if you are a deeper skin tone they do have one for you as well and i mean it takes the smallest amount of these to give you like a bam in your face highlight you can blend these out to look a little bit more natural but even then they're still more of like a punch of a highlight so just just throwing it out there i love this like i am here for it yes when i want my highlighter to be seen from space this is what I go to. And again, I think these are baked, but they don't feel baked. They don't feel dry and flaky and gross. Like they work so well for being a baked highlighter. I am obsessed. So love this. I love all the shades in here. Um, I would say probably more so than anything, I wear these two shades just because that's the typical tone of highlight I like. I like a more, um, where it kind of just looks like it blends into my skin a little bit but you know i mean these like are just bam so it's like wow your skin is like shining really really intensely right there but it's just beautiful the packaging's really fun too it's just hard to kind of show on camera so sorry um okay a couple more highlight things are actually not powders they are more creams and a liquid so it's really surprising to me that i like these because i don't i'm very picky on the liquid and cream highlights because they can move around your foundation underneath it and make it look so weird and or they can just you have to blend them so much that it moves and it looks patchy and weird so I'm very very picky and these are amazeballs so this one is actually newer 
and this is the jelly highlight in monumental so this is what it looks like it's like a fun jelly consistency right and at first I was like Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this and it's not liquidy like I can turn it upside down and it's not gonna like spill out or anything but I love this it's what I have on today I would say out of all three highlights I'm going to talk about, this one's the most natural, which is kind of funny because I didn't expect that when I bought this. There's three different shades you can buy on Ulta's website. And when I first used it, I used my finger, and it worked okay, but I was still not sold. So let me show you, let me tell you guys how I like to use this. I like my e.l.f. small stipple brush. For this product, what I do is I just take the brush right into the product, and then I just kind of swirl it on top of my cheeks, and it gives a really nice natural healthy looking glow it doesn't look too intense it doesn't look streaky it doesn't look weird it just looks so beautiful and I put this over powders and it looks fine so don't you know freak out about it but it just looks so nice so I would say I don't really love it with my finger but with that small stipple brush it looks just like really nice healthy dew on your skin you know and that is why I just I love that one and then something that I would say is probably in between the two I just mentioned. So the most natural is going to be the jelly highlight and the most intense is going to be the palette. So something that kind of falls in the middle of those two is their liquid highlighter. So these little liquid luminous drops. I have the one in luminous gold and I love this shade so much. You can make these look naturally dewy on your skin if you use like a damp sponge just to kind of tap some in or you can really build it up and concentrate it in one area and get a really gleaming highlight. So I like how versatile these is, these are. If you have even dry skin, you can mix them in with your foundation if it's like a too dry of a consistency for you. So I just love these. I think they're so good. And they're not like a greasy, oily liquid that break up your foundation and make it look weird, you know? Like we all know those liquid highlights that are so greasy that they like break up your foundation underneath it and then it looks like a streak, like it's <laughs> so bad. And these are not it at all. So I love these. A blush I want to talk about is another recent love like and again some of these are more recent because I was just on a mission like I think I had like seven things on my list and I was like I've got to finish this makeup revolution like I want to do this and so when I got the foundation and the concealer I got this you know I was just on a mission so this you can only find on their London website it's not available at Ulta and I don't think it's available on their USA website but if it is I will link it for you guys but I'm 90% sure it's only on their London website, but it's worth ordering from there, you guys. This is their Blush Compact in Opulence. I talked about this, I think, in my favorites video. I'm obsessed. It is so beautiful. You get three different tones of rosy pink. One's a little bit more cool toned and a little bit more like medium. This one's a little bit brighter and then this one's a little bit deeper. And then you get a highlight shade in here. I have swirled my brush in this so much and they're not mixing together. Like you know how sometimes when you swirl product so much they all just start to look like one color? This isn't doing that and I don't really know why. It's kind of freaking me out. But today I just used the blushes. I just took my brush and went like this. And then, um, because I used the jelly highlight, so I didn't want it to be, like, too dewy. But most days, what I do, especially for work, is I just swirl my brush and I just apply it all together. Um, and because with the highlight gives it such a nice, beautiful glow. So I love how you can manipulate this product. And I love that you can do so much with it. And you can just use one of the shades. You can use all of them. You can use two, three, you know, like, you can just do whatever you want. And I love that. Um, and it's just the most beautiful consistency. It's pigmented, but I would say you got to be a little careful with it. I was going to, yeah, you got to be a little careful because just of the tone, I think, like these pinks can get a little bright. And so you want to be a little careful and it is pigmented, but not like super powdery pigmented, if that makes any sense. Like it's still kind of like a drier formula, but not too dry to where it looks flaky on the skin. It just looks really beautiful and smooth on the face and I love it so much. Okay, so I kind of cheated. I put these next two things together because it is with the same person, and oh, I, you guys all know what I'm going to be talking about. So I put the Emily palettes together because they're all they're both by Emily, and I couldn't pick something to get rid of, so I just decided to put these two together. And so 
technically there's like 11 things, but we're just going to say 10. Um, and so the next thing, I'm going to talk about the needs because this is kind of like a face and eye palette. So I feel like it's a good bridge product between face products and eye products that I'm going to talk about. So this is the Emily Edit the Needs palette. These you can find at Ulta um, and on their websites, you know, London and um, USA. So in here, whew, mine's got powder everywhere. Um, you get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight, and then a matte kind of setting powder or a matte highlight shade, however you want to use it. And then you get six shadows. I reference this in my favorites as my... Um, Monday morning makeup, you know, like where I'm just like tired and I don't have the time or the energy to like feel like doing anything. This is just like my one stop shop because I just do bronzer, blush, highlight, set the under eyes, you know, throw something in the crease, throw something on the lid and I'm good to go, you know, but you can use the, this palette to get a smokier look too, which is really fun. So I think this palette is just really smart and really just easy and it's so good for beginners. Like this is so good for a beginner or even just someone that wants an easy palette. I mean, let's get real. This is just great. But my favorite thing probably out of the collab is the Wants palette because this is just like, this is kind of like the older mature sister and this is the younger immature sister that's like still in college and having a good time. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know why that came out of my mouth, but that's just how I see it. Like, yeah, anyways, this, oh, another good reference. This is for like everyday mom. This is for date night mom. You know what I mean? Where you can kind of like spice it up a little. Not saying that you can't wear these shades every day. You know what I mean? Anyways, but you get a giant mirror in this palette. And you also get a mirror in here too. And you get 24 shades in here, I think, right? Yes, 24. Mattes, shimmers, colors, neutrals. Eat your heart out. Whatever you want is in this palette. I love it. I have done a palette bingo with this. I have mentioned it in other videos. Emily does videos every Friday with, but with either one of these palettes. And... I mean, yes, I love the greens, I love the purples, I love the warmth, I love the cool, I love the neutral, I love just everything about this palette and I love everything about Emily, so love these so much. Couldn't be a video without talking about these, and yeah, I had to put them together because I couldn't eliminate something because I'm just, they're all so good. All right, is that, yes, last but not least, we have one more product to talk about, and it is the Reloaded Eyeshadow Palettes. These are $7.00 and they are a steal. I forgot one in my drawer though, so I want to get it out because I want to, um, oh, I just turned a little too fast. I want to, um, share my favorite ones with you guys. So I have had five of them, but one of them I decluttered because it was, um, basically a dupe for Modern Renaissance and I kept Modern Renaissance and I gifted the other one to my, one of my sisters. I just gave it to her because I'm like, I don't need two palettes that do the same thing and I was keeping more of the reloaded and so I was like it's it's fine but these palettes you guys these are seven dollars you can find them at Ulta and on their London website and on their USA website and I am just obsessed so oh my god I love all of them so much that I'm like I was gonna try to pick two but I can't this one is in division beautiful greens beautiful warmth you even get like a cool tone shade over there it's just Stunning. I love it so much. This is Neutrals 3. You get like beautiful deep fall shades that look so beautiful on the eyes. I'm obsessed. And then this one is the one I'm wearing today. This is Neutrals 2. So this is kind of like the bright little companion to Neutrals 3. You know, like this again is just kind of like the fun younger sister where this is the more mature like deep smoky sexy sister you know and this you just get like oranges and bright pinks and you know you do get some kind of deeper shades to deepen things up a little bit but overall it's definitely just a brighter palette but i'm obsessed with it i think it's so beautiful and then i also love this one this is a newer one to me and i oh my god i use this in a um get ready with me somewhat recently this is the one in visionary you guys, I mean, can we talk about these purples? Like this matte purple right in the center, I just, my eye goes to it and I'm like, eh. like it's so beautiful. I am obsessed. And I love just like the cool tone browns in here and the pink and the purples and they all just pair so well together. I love this palette so much. If you want to see it use, like I said, go check out that Get Ready With Me. I'll link it for you guys because mm, it's so good. 
All right, you guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below what your favorite product for Makeup Revolution is. Like I said, it's a giant brand with so many products. So leave it down below. Maybe we can all kind of try some new things out. I hope you found this video helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you guys here next time. Bye.